Hey, what's up? In this uh, video, I just want to respond to Steve and German Monkey uh, asking about the Venetian blind. So uh, we're showing After Effects with the same setup from that video. Here is uh, we have a background, a circle. Both of them have a gradient, uh, gradient, gradient ram here. I'm gonna use create a new solid. Just call it my mask. It's not exactly a mask, it's a mat. Maybe we should just call it a mat. A mat mask is the same with and height of the comp size. And I have my Venetian blinds. So so if you look for VENE Venetian blinds, you might see two, two over here. So we're not going for the preset. We're going for the normal transition one. So our Venetian blinds, basically it is a transition transition from one to another but we are using this to create the transparency of the lines here so first let's change the direction to 90 degrees to make it horizontal lines we will change the completion to 50 percent so half of this width which is 20 will be filled half of this will be transparent Let's change it from 20 to 40 so that you can uh, see it bigger. And just want to show you, if I turn this to uh, off, it just basically shows you uh, the transparency, which means that this is transparent and opaque. And these are just drawing lines for you. If you scroll through your timeline, we'll not get any animation. So what we're going to what we want to do, press P to bring up our position. We only want to move along the Y axis, which is the top and bottom. Y is the one in the 540. So X is 960 here. Y is the 540 one here. So let me undo both of this. And let me right click separate dimensions if it helps you to get the different values out separately. Because you we only need to animate position Y. So let's set a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch here. We go all the way to the end. We will change the value. So 40 pixels width, let's add it to add 40 pixels, which is 580. And we should be able to see this move from up down, up to down. And it should loop as well. It should loop as well because we just time we set it just right at 40 pixels okay so let's turn back on this two or maybe we just turn on our circle and we are using a track map so press f4 if you don't have your track map option here or you can click on this toggle switches mode thing click on this alpha map map mask so what this means that i'm calling i'm using this layer the layer above as a alpha matte alpha is like the transparency of a layer and i'm using this to use as the transparency whatever is transparent for my matte, matte mask will be transparent for my circle so i'm gonna click alpha matte and this is what happens here and basically i think that's pretty much it so Steve, I hope this kind of helps to break down if there is anything, any detail that I missed. Yeah, just let me know. In this second example here, I have two images stacked above each other. And we're going to bring the Venetian blinds again. Let's say we want to transit from the first image to the second image. Where's my Venetian blind? Oops, put it on the wrong layer. Let me bring it in for my top layer and my transition is zero so the oops, we're gonna use our we're gonna keyframe our transition completion so click on this stopwatch i'm gonna bring it up with pressing u on the keyboard and i'm gonna start with zero go to two second here and change it to 100 preview my render and that's basically much uh, that's basically it but maybe this is not what you're looking for. 
uh, we can be a bit creative, play with the width and height. So you can adjust the width, you can adjust the feather if, if you want. And then there's the direction as well. So maybe let's, let's play with that. Start with the direction. You click on the stopwatch again, press U twice to bring up again my keyframes for my direction. I'm going to start with uh, 0. I'm going to start with 0 angle and go up to my the, at the end of my 2 second. Go, bring, go to my 2 second here and then change the direction. Maybe we can do 180 and then let's play. So as it uh, transits, it turns as well. One more thing that you can play with is stacking these Venetian blinds. Uh, bring in a new one and you can play with another stacking this Venetian blind to give you uh, different looks. So let's play with this. This one has no animation. So my second Venetian Blight is not animated at all. I'm going from start to finish with the same uh, vertical lines here. Maybe we can do 90-ish, 90% 90 completion and a bit wider width to give me that, that look. You see, a uh, uh, wider width and small, shorter, shorter lines here. So if I'm, if I'm doing 50%, so let's say I'm doing 50% is the same, the same size. Whereas I'm going for 90%. I'm having a white, white and narrow, white and narrow width here. So it's the same. I'm not, I'm not animating this yet, but let's turn back, turn this back on the previous one and then play and see what happens. So we're getting this very interesting retro V or textury lines and dots and interesting interesting if you increase the width you're gonna get uh, a very different look here you can bring out the transition and then you're gonna get this diamond shaped rectangles as well so there's many ways to play with uh, this Venetian blinds you can even uh, duplicate it again this time Maybe you wanna add the transition. So let's start with uh, let's start with uh, one second here. We'll do zero keyframe this. Go to two seconds and bring in a uh, one hundred. Maybe we put a diagonal ish direction. Bring up my width all the way up to maybe over a thousand. See what it does. So let's see uh, by itself what does it do. Okay, that's interesting. And then let's stack it with the second one. And then let's bring in back the first one. Let me tune back this. Tune back the second one. So that it, it doesn't look that much. Or what I can do, keyframe this to be zero. Start from zero or actually yeah, start from zero, go down to 15 frames, and then give me 10%. Let's play. So you can stack them and give different timings. So let me bring up all my keyframes again. And you can see how many different keyframes I have at different timings and how many different the three Venetian blinds that I stacked together can even adjust so we can use F9 to ease our keyframes and then play with the easing and then instead of getting a linear uh, what's this called change you can have a very uh, different animation speed so have fun I hope this kind of helps if not let me know in the comments.